Pygmalion was a sculptor with unique abilities. His works were admired throughout the world. The sculptor traveled to the island of Cyprus, as he would have access to a sort of marble with such a degree of quality that his works would appear as if they had been made from ivory. Pygmalion had a clinic eye, and he could only see flaws in every single woman, and because of that, he preferred celibacy. A great block of marble was delivered to his workshop. The sculptor, whilst looking at the raw stone, noticed in it all the necessary qualities to conduct his magnum opus. He decided to edify a statue of a woman, but not a woman like the ones he saw in the streets. For him, those women were vulgar and filled with flaws. Pygmalion readied himself to build the perfect woman, young, pretty, and virginal. But the island of Cyprus did not have a woman like that to serve as a model. So, the artist tried to use his imagination as an inspiration for that woman, and thus he began to work. For a long time, Pygmalion dedicated himself exclusively to the construction of what would be his masterpiece. The sculptor thoroughly dedicated himself to all the details of his work, and the outcome was nothing short of perfect. He had produced the most beautiful statue ever sculpted. Pygmalion felt enchanted by his own work and gave her the name Galatea. The statue was so perfect that the artist, sometimes, touched her to ensure that it was not a real woman. The sculptor was in love with his own work. He caressed its face and dressed it with the purest of silks. His love for the statue was so immense that he even put it in his bed to sleep alongside it. The day of the festivities to celebrate Aphrodite, the goddess of love, arrived. Pygmalion realized that he was obsessed with Galatea, his lover of marble ivory. Pygmalion walked to the temple to pay tribute to the goddess. After making an offering to the goddess, Pygmalion begged, Ah, uh, goddess Aphrodite, I know that I did all that I could to avoid love, but not for once I had the intent to offend you. Now I am here, prostrate in front of your temple, subjugated to the power of love, and I beg you for a wife like my marble girl. The goddess Aphrodite felt moved by that plea from the infatuated artist. Pygmalion returned to his home to meet the statue of his beloved Galatea. The sculptor picked it from his arms and kissed it on the lips. In that moment, he felt the warmth of the softness of his lover's lips. Her body was no longer as rigid as a rock, and she gave in to the tightness of his arms. Aphrodite had transformed the marble statue into a real woman. And, with the blessing of the goddess of love, Pygmalion and Galatea got married, and from the fruits of this union, Paphos was born, who would then found a city in the honor of Aphrodite.